Meghan Markle received a teasing that could not be more humiliating. Dogs are strictly prohibited, but two are permitted in the typical hello and a warm welcome on our royal family news channel. It takes a few idiots like Meghan not to obey or comply with the prohibition signs that are blatantly displayed to even an ignorant duchess. And it's no wonder they keep breaking the rules, because no one can bring them up. Because she wasn't told she wasn't allowed to take the dog to the market, as she went out to pick fresh flowers, specimens and honey at the Montecito Farmer's Market in Santa Barbara on Friday, Morkel was again looking more and more like Wallace Simpson, dot I don't know if he's trying or if he's just definitely doing it. Now the sign couldn't have been bigger. He said no dogs were allowed, but it seems Megan's ego was much bigger, and so she demonstrated both ignorance and stupidity by completely ignoring the giant sign that Megan's disrespect knows no bounds and that's one of the many things that makes her so hateful to everyone. Obviously she believes in rules for but not for me. It showed him strolling through the Montecito farmer's market near their $1 million mansion, accompanied by his large crowd and his pet beagle, Meghan Markle. What were you thinking? I mean, you thought you were going to fly under the radar or something. I can't remember the last time I saw an example of someone so bold and so stupid. So he had this giant shopping bag under his arm. And when I say big, I mean, if you really wanted to, you could probably hide a human body in there. So I wonder who could be in there, honestly. It could have been Archie's or Lily's bed, except she doesn't bring it. He was carrying a bag big enough to hold a carcass and put a dog in it. Guess he thought he would score points with dog lovers. Well, there was a big problem though. The rules clearly state that dogs are not allowed their dot no one in their right mind would notice at all, not even for a minute. Obviously not. Megan was so sneaky. You see in Megan's world even though the rules and regulations are for people like us. Obviously, they don't apply to people like her, Megan, after all, thinks she's so much better than anyone else. I mean, it takes a very arrogant person, someone so arrogant, brash, and dismissive that he actually thinks, or believes he's something or someone above other people. To be honest with you, what I felt most sorry for was that poor little dog. I thought Meghan Marco used to give up on her dogs anyway. I can't help but wonder how long the poor thing will last before being thrown in the trash, poor little dog. I feel sorry for him. I hope they feed him well and on time too. Maybe this dog can call the RSPCA and get some help, we already know the two don't have the best track record when it comes to keeping pets happy. But still why does she need a puppy? or even a small dog like her husband Harry, when she has a whole army of paparazzi it seemed incredibly staged and orchestrated like all her other pics light up the action of the camera, because Meghan Markle is completely ready to forget about this desire for privacy when she sees a very affordable opportunity to make headlines. He was staring straight into the camera lens with that smirk on his face. As always, with its very unique and distinctive ability to spot a target from a mile away. Presumably, Megan wants to stay away from the paparazzi, but she'll always call them out to capture her best shots for the world to see. No surprise there. Too bad he didn't bring the two invisible children with him. I mean, they really would have liked to walk around the market holding hands, and I noticed how many other people were there too. They didn't care who Megan Markle was. They obviously didn't, and I'm sure it must have hurt how damaging her ego was that no one even noticed her. Usually, people learn to have good manners and follow rules when they are in kindergarten, school or kindergarten. I guess Megan must have missed that day, obviously, this is an area where he really struggles. Megan Markle just doesn't care about the rules. He'll break them every day too and it's certainly not impossible because of that. Disobedient Dutch for trespassing, tampering or trespassing, if there is a rule that has been established to ensure the health and safety of other people. Well, Meghan Markle is going to crack, because we remember that she doesn't care about anyone's health and safety, 
probably not even herself, after all. Dot, and we have seen it demonstrated over and over again. So, with this new series of photos, there is absolutely nothing new to see. We see her trademark swagger and swagger with that smirk on her face, looking straight at the cameras as she walks around with a lot of swagger, the swagger and the talkative love and how important she really is. See it's so clear that it's just another photography and stunt operation for Elle loves nothing more than to show off, even if no one else wants to see her. The way she walks around like she owns the place makes me want to vomit. However, I guess we have to give credit where it's D-U-E dot A-T least this time, he took his picture from the market instead of walking over people's graves at the cemetery or showing up somewhere he definitely didn't belong. I mean it was too designed even for its standards with all its bouncers and caregivers and guards plus the no dog on its toes. Plus, of course, this offender's photographers should definitely get a ticket for violating state law that bans dogs from farmers' markets. He also has a king. I mean hidden hidden cams to smile straight at them. Obviously Megan loves a camera more than anything and loves getting banged left and right and this time she was called breaking the rules again because she had her dog with her which I don't even understand why she had the dog. I mean, do you really like dogs? We don't believe him. Remember that story about how he left a dog with two broken legs. I wonder how it happened. I guess the dog lover group is the last group he tries to please. That's the only explanation I can think of for the poor little dog, even if he must be stuck with a wicked witch like her, you know, the thing just wanted to get away, and let's remember there is no accidental photo of Meghan Markle. She's the one calling the paparazzi. She is shot and then she cries over Wolf for the invasion of her privacy. Although, as I understand it, Motec is actually the least pop area, even more so than Orange County. But wherever Megan goes, let's remember that her ad is always for sale. I mean, it's like he's in cahoots with photographers and working alongside these freelancers, he'll always be there and fully respect that smirk on his face. So Mag and I hope you've had your fill of all that sweet honey. Sugars will need it, because they seem to be low on carbs right now. And even if that sign said no dogs allowed, it seems to me they would let in not one but two, that could only happen at the Santa Barbara California farmer's market. And where was Harry, well, looks like he got rid of that. Then she can have all the attention on herself, and let's remember rules never apply to do and what Megan wants. Megan becomes so obvious that she can do whatever she wants. He can let in whoever he wants and you. What do you think of Megan's behavior? Please let me know your opinion below in the comment section. If you liked our video today, don't be afraid to like it and share it with your friends and family who need it and don't. Royal Family News YouTube channel to get more updates in future. Thank you very much for logging in. Good night, and we'll be back to see you all tomorrow.